I want to talk to you about the price of gold and why it doesn't matter what the price of gold is. It doesn't matter how you feel. That's it. It doesn't matter. What matters is how much you collect as it's being manipulated. How much silver you have when it's being manipulated. Uh, <clears throat> learn about the gold and silver ratio. If you're just turning on this uh, YouTube channel and, and listen to some guy say, hey, I think gold and silver is going up. Hey, it might. It might not. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't do anything I say. You'll lose all your money. But I'm telling you, other countries like Russia, China, India, they're all going to gold. Okay, now here's, a, here's the deal with silver. The silver and gold ratio gets off. There are many people that think the gold and silver ratio is gonna catch up. It gets off and it gets closer and people switch their silver to gold. I mean, that's an easy, I don't know what it is right now. Uh, Stacy called me and told me the spot prices and they were coming down. She said she was getting busy. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's really cool because most of the time People don't like to buy things when they're going down. They only want to buy things when they're going up. I learned this in the crypto market. I learned this, uh, that's how, you know, to be honest with you, that's how I know when they're unable to manipulate the prices of metal, because it will happen one day. Uh, people are going to buy silver, like just like the cryptos that are absolutely nothing, that's what you're gonna, the reaction you're gonna see in silver, in my opinion. That's what I think, okay? Just take a look at all your FANG stocks. If you'd have bought gold and silver, still, when I was talking about it a year, a year and a half ago, uh, you'd be doing pretty good. Uh, you know, this is the time where real estate is going, those are condos over there, and they're about a million dollars a piece. The average price in Vancouver is $1 million, one million one. So you're, this place is supposed to get decimated. And I'm talking about real estate because real estate is one of the assets that hold wealth, right? Well, it's at an all time high, uh, <clears throat> especially here. Guys, look at that water. It is so green. So it's emerald green and clear. There's these little shuttle boats running around everywhere. It's really incredible, but there's a lot of dogs around here too. Everybody's got their little dog. So you could hedge your wealth with real estate if you wanted to, farmland, cows, chickens, whatever, uh, or precious metals. That's what I do, that's what I've been doing. Uh, and, and I'm gonna get back to why the price is going down in a second, but well, there's some Canadian geese flying by. But uh, let's just talk about the price right now. I don't have much time, I gotta get on a plane, I hope. And I said it didn't matter in the beginning of this video because the only thing that matters is your walk with God and taking care of your family second and meeting like-minded people and growing a community and, and doing this thing that we're already doing. Uh, you know, if you can't take care of yourself, you are no help to nobody. Remember that. And if you're broke, you can't help anybody. If you let them debase the dollar out from under you because gold's just rock, if you're into that, then do that, okay? Don't, don't listen to me. But if you think they're gonna debase the currency right out from under us, that these other countries aren't forming their own global currency that could be digital and also backed by gold, yeah, I know, there's there's some, I don't know all the, every ounce those people have, or ton, I should say, because they buy tons of gold. But fact is, they're buying tons of gold. They set records uh, in 2022 buying gold as they manipulate the price down. Isn't that incredible how the powers that be can do that? The people, these authoritarian governments can run the price down artificially, make it cheap for them to buy it, and then when it blows up, they're sitting, they're sitting fat. The United States is arrogant enough to think they're gonna be the global reserve currency for the, the rest of time. That's stupid, that's never been the case. Never. Uh, everybody around me has experienced nothing but prosperity for their whole life. These real estate investors that I have met, the older ones, 
remember 2008. They remember high interest rates in the 90s. They remember things like that. Uh, and so they can kind of see cycles easier. Uh, so just know, and I'm talking about all assets right now because there's not a whole lot to say about the price of gold going down because it doesn't freaking matter. What matters is you have it. Uh, it's being manipulated. That's 100% certain. There's no way around it. Nobody can argue that. That's Somebody in the comments, tell me I'm wrong about it. To put hashtag, you're wrong about gold, it's worthless. And tell me why. That would be great. I'll make you a video, okay? <laughs> I'll make a compilation of all the comments and make you a video. We can even talk about confiscation too. If you're into that, if you're holding on to that, well, they're just gonna take your gold because most people that say that don't have any help, wealth to hedge, and I'm sorry, bless your heart, okay? I mean, if, if you're there, then fine, buy food, buy, you know, things that your family's going to need. But <clears throat> if you do have some wealth and you, you know, you wanna get away from a dollar that's eroding out from under you, it's like an ice cube that you're sitting on that's melting out from under you right now. And they're going to manipulate the stock market and make it run up and run back down. The price of gold is going to go up and it's going to come back down. They're going to do all this crazy stuff. But in the end, financially, not spiritually, so all the people that's going to say, you can't, it's the end of time. Run up your credit cards and throw your gold and silver in the streets. If you're there, turn the video off. I'm serious. I'm tired of hearing that. You know, that, <laughs> but okay, what if it happened tomorrow? And the dollar was just, it just blew up in smoke. The, the, the duct tape came apart. And the next day, you had to use something to transact with. I know that's not the way it's going to go down, but what, how would you fare? Because if I know one thing, my 30s went away pretty fast. My 20s were fast. My 30s was like a, a split second. So that's kind of how I see it now. The price of gold's cheap. The price of silver's cheap. If you want some, call the number in the description. Stacy will walk you through it. But before you do any of that, go three different places first. Try to find the best price. I'm serious. That's, this is, that isn't my sole income. I want to be involved in the space with the best prices as the dollar gets devalued and people start running to sound money. That's exactly why I got in the space. And I'll aim to provide the best price. So if you find it somewhere else, good for you. That's great. So I'm not going to try to ever pressure you into pre-33 coins on the guise of confiscation and all this stuff. I think that's crap. All that matters is how much you got. It doesn't have to be pre-33. Yeah, like I said, though, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, they'll come get our gold and then uh, other countries won't run to gold. Uh, that makes sense to me. The last time that happened, we were not a global economy. Now, I'm about to get on a plane, guys. I hope I make it. Uh, like I said... Put the reasons in the comments why gold and silver are just garbage and nobody should own them. And when you get done telling me why, put what you think is a better investment. If you've already got your preps, it ought to be simple. Have an awesome, awesome day, guys. Later.